Model Car fans, welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Rao, and this week I'm featuring my build here of a 72 Duster 340 here. And it's a car I didn't know a whole heck of a lot. I've read about Duster 340s and general information, but when you get into the year-to-year -year specific, it gets a little bit more confusing. And I struggled with that as well, as uh, you see many different things, all kinds of stuff online, uh, when you're looking at specific cars. So it gets a little confusing and trying to figure out what options were really available as far as from the factory and whatnot and what combinations. So that's where I had gotten kind of confused and uh, you know, kind of struggled with it, but you really have to dig deep into these cars to know what was available and what wasn't available. And initially when I started this project, I was really just concerned with you know, the obvious taillight panel and uh, some of the things on the body uh, to make it more accurate for a 72 since AMT only offered the 71 kit and the 70 and 71 kits were virtually identical except for the grill as far as the real car. I shouldn't say kits because there really isn't a 70 kit from uh, uh, anyone that I know of. I think even the MPC was a 71 and 72 but they didn't offer a 70 kit. But anyway, getting back to this, so for 72, there wasn't a whole lot of changes to the actual basic package, you know, the 340 automatic or four speed package. Um, but one of the things with the dusters, the 340s did not come with hood scoops, the actual 340 cars. So I did this one with hood scoops. The model kit comes with hood scoops, but it really should have this hood on it, the flat hood. So the actual duster 340s would would have the flat hood whether it had the blackout treatment or not which you know of course this one i did and i had to do because i kind of like these but they're all different um what they kind of did and what they didn't do so for full on reference this hood with the scoops this is actually the twister hood um which had the two scoops and they weren't functional but they looked really cool and i see tons of duster 340s with them on so a lot of people had added them, um, which is what I ended up doing here. But since I had read that, I'm like, well, if I want to make it actually correct, um, as far as this goes, I'll do that. But I did this build this one as more of a day two with some modifications and everything, mainly because some things I didn't realize at the time or fix, but that was mainly on, on my side of the research. Now, there were a bunch of things I did know that were different between a 71 and 72. Uh, the marker lights down here, they got a bit more generic um, all the way around. They actually bolted on. They weren't recessed like they were in the 71 and 70s. So the you know, Mopar went with their more generic marker lights. So if you guys saw my video, I did a foil casting video on how I made those and added those. 72 also had uh, the bigger taillights that... Uh, weren't quite as hidden. And uh, there was a ridge added to the trunk line here, which I added in the model kit. Um, 70 and 71s didn't have that, but apparently they added that because there was a denting problem with the trunk. It dented easily. And I had read somewhere that they added that line to reinforce the trunk and to keep that from going on. Um, the spoiler on the back was 71, had one style spoiler, 70 had a different style spoiler. But 72, there was no spoiler available from the factory on, on any duster. But again, you can go to the parts department and buy it and drill the holes and add it. So that's kind of what I did. The 71 model kit comes with this spoiler. But, you know, since it did and I didn't bother filling the holes and everything, did the body work, I kind of left it. But, you know, I did all the work back here on the taillights. Uh, another thing, um, which... I had read off and on, but I've done this, you know, a few times was the 340 stripe is kind of unique. There's a white duster tail right there. Um, I tried to replicate that as best as possible with uh, my white gel pen right on top of the decal and it came out pretty good. Um, you know, it wasn't part of the decal. I just flat out did it. And another thing I did was added these torque thrust wheels just uh, to change it up a little bit. And another thing I'd forgotten about the mark of excellence emblem right down here, I should have sanded that off. 72s did not have that. Uh, 71 and older did, but 72 uh, Mopar had dropped it, or Chrysler I should say, because 
Mopar is, we say Mopar all the time, but that's technically the parts division and uh, not the, the car line as it was all Chrysler Corporation vehicles. But also for 72, there were a number of changes under the hood. Um, some cosmetic, but uh, so I replicated this one as, as best as I could there. Now, 340 engines are always, um, it's a little confusing on those and what color they are. And it really depends on the year. 70 and 71s were orange, 69s were blue, 68s were red, um, and 72s were blue. But, you know, the 69s were more of a turquoise blue, were 72 and later were more of a dark blue. Um, the air cleaner was orange in 72 and later. Um, 70 and 71, the air cleaners are black. They also had a single snorkel here, which I added on this one. Uh, the model kit does not have that. But it's got a single snorkel and a different decal, 344 barrel like on there. So that's all pretty accurate for a 72. But uh, adding that, really all I had to do was add the snorkel, which I got off of a 71 uh, Charger RT model kit and the dual snorkel air cleaner there. So I cut one of the snorkels off a spare air cleaner there. So kind of hurt to take a dual snorkel air cleaner and cut a snorkel off of it and add it to this air cleaner. But on the 72 dusters, it had a trapdoor valve on the bottom side of the air cleaner in the back. So uh, when you stomped on it, the bottom side of the air cleaner, the, there was a flap that actually flapped open to allow more air into the air cleaner. So instead of having a dual snorkel, it had uh, a whole nother flap in the back and opened up a good chunk of the air cleaner. It's kind of unique. You can find pictures of them online and they're really expensive as far as restored units. Uh, but it's kind of cool reading about some of that as well. So uh, when it came to this particular build, um, this is Tor Red, which is really a metallic color. So when you get it up on there, you can kind of see the metallic in it, but let's get this out in the sunlight. So I'll film this out in the sun and see how it really sparkles and everything. And then we'll get back to uh, this particular build and, and what I went through on it. Well, here she is out in the sun. You can see that uh, Tor Red really sparkle here in the sun. It just shows a little bit of the sparkle here. But man, this color is looking really good here in the sun. You know, it's partly overclassed. We got a little bit of a sun poking through here. Let's do it this way. Look at that. moment of silence <laughs> and I'm just uh, really admiring how this thing came out all right now I have to do the 70 duster or one of my restorations 73 or 74 dusters get the set finished up here real soon <laughs> but uh, loving the way that's looking right there and the sun and everything all right so We'll head back on inside. All right, when it comes to this actual build here, like I said, this is the AMT 71 as they did not have a 72 kit, but there's not a whole lot of differences. Uh, the grill and front end are all the same. Uh, hood is pretty much the same um, as far as, you know, that kind of stuff goes. The rally wheels have a little bit of a different center cap, but I went with these because I do have 72 um, rally wheels, but since all of them have rally wheels, I kind of want to do a little something different with this one. and uh, But I was going to put the rally wheels on there originally. And I was going to do the 340 hood. But I was really have my heart set on doing the dual scoops. So I really wanted to do that on this. Um, but once I realized and read that that was not available on the 340 cars. It was on the 340 Demons. But not on the Dusters. Um, so... And then I, you know, also I had already, you know, painted the body before I realized if I wanted to truly be factory stock, I didn't actually glue this wing on. Um, it shouldn't have the wing on there. So, but I didn't fill these in. And after doing all the body work back here to add this seam in, 
and all the body work back here for the 72 taillights. So there's the 72 taillights. Um, modifying them and, and putting this piece in there and then painting it the silver because that's actually part of the lens and it's one big oval. But, uh, you know, it wasn't an easy way to do that. So I made it part of the body, which is actually what the MPC 72 uh, is like as well. Even that's more of a race car instead of a stock car. So since I had the holes here in this wing, I was going to leave the wing on. Um, I've seen a number of 72s with the wing on it. So people were adding that, um, adding the scoops, which is how I really wanted to build this one. So I did it that way. And I dressed up the engine as much as I could as a 72 and fully detailed the underside as a, like an over restored car, but I didn't gloss coat it. So that's why it's kind of dull coated on the bottom, but I had fun doing all the exhaust and the tips and the eight and three quarter rear end, the transmission and then the blue engine and just kind of detailing it out and picking out the body plugs and some of the other things going on under there, but having some fun. Getting these wheels to fit was pretty easy. I just found some that worked and I had uh, some sanding to do uh, to get the combination to work. But uh, those tires, they work out pretty good on this and they're kind of small, but the, so are the wheel openings. And uh, just, just you know, this one, it went together well. Now these windows I did struggle with and I couldn't remember how to do them. So in my video, I, there's a couple of different ways of what worked out, but I got these windows in, but I glued them to the body and not the interior tub, like I mentioned. And one of the last things, I had forgotten to paint these mirrors. So I stripped the chrome off the mirrors because I did not want the chrome ones. I wanted them painted body color. So that was one of the last things I had to do was paint the mirrors, clear coat the mirrors, and then glue them on. Um, engine really required no modifications to it other than the air cleaner. I mentioned adding that snorkel. And it's just detailing it more like a 72 and, you know, getting it all together, just having some fun with it. The interior, I didn't do anything to as far as changing it. It's really the 71 interior with the round gauges in there, which, you know, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, the round gauges were 71, 72. They just had the square gauges only, um, so no rally gauges. But I would have to change a lot of things on the interior to make it correct. So I kind of left it alone. Um, don't really remember if the 72 MPC kit, uh, how the interior looks on that one. Um, I do have one, but it's a race car. And uh, I was going to restore it as a race car and just leave it as MPC issued it. But I had fun doing this one and detailing it out and, you know, painting the turn signals up there. Now, they're really amber bulbs and not amber lenses, but they light up amber. But if I was to do those turn signals more of in a white with a little amber dot in the very middle one, it doesn't stand out as much as it does painted it this way. So it really draws out the thing. You look at restored ones and it kind of looks similar, but uh, there is that. But I really enjoyed building this. And then some of you guys had commented and pointed out little things that I was missing here or there or, or I'd forgotten about. You know, as it was, it was something I had started you know, over 10 years ago and kind of went back and forth on how to do it, what I was going to do, what color, doing it in Tor Red here, uh, which is also known as Hemi Orange on Dodges. But it's, uh, you know, it's not red, it's orange and it's metallic, which is um, one of the things I kind of thought, you know, it was vitamin C or Go Mango, which is a bright orange as well, but not metallic. And uh, Tor Red and Hemi Orange is metallic. So two different paint codes and paints, but uh, looks really good in the sun. So I hope this thing really shined out there in the sun for you guys. So anyway, that's going to conclude this one. So you guys, thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and all your comments and everything. I really do appreciate it. And you guys, you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time.